Hello, people of the internet. It is me and Lady. And today, we are coming at you live from our day at home. It is snowing like crazy outside right now. And <laughs> thank you, Lady. Oh, oh. So today, we are going to be cleaning and reorganizing my pantry, something I have done a gazillion times, but never gets old. And I love watching these videos, and hopefully, you will too. So without further ado, let's head into the kitchen and I will show you the pantry. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I will show you the pantry in its current state and walk you through the plan. All right, lady, high five. And this little girl will stay here looking oh so regal. Cause she's so beautiful and perfect. Look at that face. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. <gasps> yes. And here is your proof of the snow. It's awfully pretty. All right, I will preface by saying we have an awesome amount of storage in this pantry. We can fit a ton of stuff in here as you will very soon see when everything ends up on the countertops. Right now, everything is just kind of thrown in there. I like to have a neat and organized system where specific things go on specific shelves, but right now, it's all just been thrown in there and you can't really find what you need, so that's what we're gonna fix today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is empty out absolutely everything from this pantry, and we're gonna take an inventory of what we have and make sure that everything is fresh and nothing's expired. And that way we can make sure that only what is necessary is gonna go back into this pantry. A great way to add more storage is to add a shelf on top of a shelf, just to add some tiered storage for all of your cans, or in this case, it's going to be uh, glass jars. So it looked a little bit dingy once everything was outside of it and I wanted to give it a fresh coat of paint. So I had this paint from the laundry room renovation that we're doing downstairs and I figured this would be a great place to just put this nice white. Thankfully this pantry only needed a touch up coat so I just did one quick coat of paint over everything and the bottom shelf had some sort of like an oil that had spilt on it so I had to do two coats on top of this just to make sure that everything was covered. Well we have plenty of stuff to go through. There's an awful lot of things over here. All right, so we got pastas, rices, crackers and breads, dips, and these are breadcrumbs. Then we get into the canned goods. <laughs> Sauces and gravies, soups, canned vegetables, canned beans, canned fruits, lots of coconut milk, canned chicken. So this is where all of the baking goods are gonna end up going into jars. We have nuts and seeds and flowers, popcorn, oatmeal, all the basics, and they'll all end up going into mason jars, which will make it easy to find them and much prettier. And then we were ready to make sure everything was fresh and get rid of anything that the label had expired. So one of my favorite kitchen hacks is to put as many of our pantry staples into glass jars as possible. I bought a big set of mason jars at the grocery store. I think it was $5 for like 20 jars. So very cost effective and all of the items that I typically buy in bulk, like all my nuts and seeds and flowers and things, can go easily into some mason jars. And this not only looks great, but is just a more eco-friendly way of storing the items that I don't need to buy in a box or in plastic. 
So now it's time to put this pantry back together. The bottom shelf is gonna be for a lot of our boxed goods. This second shelf is where I'm gonna be putting all of my baking goods and anything that will go into a mason jar as you'll see here. So nuts and seeds and flowers, things like that, and a couple of pastas and grains. This tiered shelf is also a great way to store things behind these glass jars, but underneath the top shelf. So it adds another layer of storage here, as you can see. I had a couple extra jars that weren't filled with anything. So I found a few other things that were in the bottom shelf of this pantry that I could put into jars like this pasta and made sure to fill those up. I also had like a half pack of dark chocolate chips, so I put that into this. It used to be a peanut butter jar, and I emptied it out and washed it, and now I use it to store uh, things as well. All my baking chocolates and any sort of sweet treats are gonna go behind uh, these jars just to hide them from view. And then the next shelf is gonna be all of our canned goods. So I like to stack things uh, front to back so that we know just how many we have left and if we're doing a grocery run, we can easily take inventory of what we already have before we go out and buy some more. We're gonna put our bread in a little basket and that is it. Let's see the final pantry. This space already looks a million times better, you guys. I'm so happy with how it came out. Everything has a place. You can see everything that we have and there's a system now, which I am a big fan of systems. <laughs> All of our canned goods are the third shelf up. The top shelf is for things that we don't really use all that often, uh, but one that still know that we have in stock. And I just love having everything be so easily visible and you can immediately tell what we have and what we need. Less is more and I really think that this system way is a great way of keeping inventory like I said and an easy way to make sure that when not going out and buying more than what we need. All right you guys that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I am very happy that that is done and that the pantry is clean once again. As always I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you liked it Feel free to subscribe down below or give me a thumbs up or a comment, whatever you like. And it helps me um, just get a sense of what people like to watch. <laughs> so feel free to join this little community. And with that all said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Hello.